Hi, this is Bob. Been working on the uh, Tentec Omni D that you see here, and I had a real nice, uh, real nice outcome here with a little modification that I did, and I thought I would just make a little video of that modification and show you guys what I did here. I had taken the uh, PTO here out. Now this one here is from another unit. This is a busted PTO, but uh, what I did with the PTO was I did not take it all apart. I uh, ran a little bit of uh, 10W30 synthetic oil down in here, which I bought at Kmart's. It was Kmart brand. And I ran it down in here, just a drop down in there. I ran a little drop down in here, in that little joint there. Then I put a drop up in this bearing here right there where the ball bearings are, put a drop in there and then I held it up vertical like this and I ran some down into the center here where it would run right down in there just a, just a tiny drop and then worked it back and forth and that loosened up the uh, grease nicely I also put a little bit right on this shaft up here on the top upper shaft here where that slider piece goes Anyhow, that I all did, I did to the uh, PTO that's in the unit. And as you can see, it's just sitting there rock steady on uh, 10 megahertz. Well, it was not rock steady when I put it in there. It tended to drift. I turned it on, I let it warm up for a half an hour, and it drifted. And I really didn't care for that. I'm used to a rig that's crystal controlled, synthesized, and would stay put. So uh, I thought, what can I do to improve that? And all of a sudden I had this idea, what if I ran the PTO or VFO, whichever way you want to call it, off of a separate little power supply and uh, ran it 24 hours, seven days a week, just plugged it in. So I got this little power pack unit here. I think I got it at Goodwill for a dollar at the Goodwill resale store. I also pick them up at garage sales too. But anyhow, as you can see, it really stabilized things. There, it's kicking to the one once in a while. But it's extremely stable. And then what I did, I've got the uh, power jack here that you can see that I've installed right there. And then right here is an 8 volt regulator. And that runs the VFO or PTO 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and wow, is it stable. So I just wanted to show you guys what it had done there. Made all the difference in the world. I was thinking about getting one of those DDS units, but they don't make them anymore. I got on eBay, and nobody's got them on there. And then I got on uh, the internet, and I see there's a, a fellow who used to make them, but he doesn't make them anymore. So... Uh, Anyways, I'm so happy with the way this thing is uh, stabilized after running it 24 hours a day. No problem. It only takes uh, like uh, 10 milliampers of current. And these little power supplies, if you notice, they're UL approved. Uh, they've got fail-safe circuits in them, so you can leave them on 24 hours. You don't have to worry about them causing a fire or anything. Uh, they, they have self-protective uh, circuits in them. So uh, I think that's a really good solution. Just put a connector on the back. I did have to take the front panel off. I had to take off this bar right here. Had to take that off. Had to take this circuit board loose. Had to take out the display unit. Take all the knobs off the front. Uh, take off the uh, phone jack and the uh, mic jack here. Remove the big main knob. <laughs> Remove the zero beat. But that stuff doesn't take much time, really. Uh, I would say in less than uh, an hour and a half, I had the whole thing done. And drilled the hole in the back and ran a wire over. And then I took the wire off of the PTO and ran, it, ran the wire from the back directly onto the PTO. And uh, it just works great. So I just wanted to show you folks what I had done to stabilize this VFO. Uh, or PTO and of course like I say I had lubricated it like I said at the beginning using uh, 10W30 synthetic oil. I like that synthetic oil because I don't think it'll break down over time 
like a regular organic oil does. Only time will tell, actually, what happens there. So uh, that's it. And she's right on frequency on WWV there. So with that, I'll say 73s, everyone, and good DX.